McLaughlin followed by Ms. Keys Gamar. Also keep it brief because it is late. Um, Dr. Brabrand, I just wanted to kind of put a, a fine point on something that uh, many board members got communication on today. And uh, I did speak with um, our director of communications, um, Ms. Lloyd, um, and she's very sensitive to how important it is that we get some clarity for our community on the recent RFP that has to do with um, a social media um, consultant. Um, you know, it's so important that um, we provide that kind of factual information to our families because the way it's being read by some and the inquiries coming in, the concern is that it has to do with parents being on social media and, you know, remarks they may make. And so I just really wanted to take this opportunity because I know the 12 of us and you have the deepest respect for our role to listen carefully and respectfully to our community. That is not what this RFP is about at all. Um, it's my understanding it originated with the Office of Safety and Security. When we look at what happened in Michigan, when school administrators were faced with communication from a students, students were seeing things online, that we want to just help ensure that we have the most holistic approach to when you read something, see something, say something to save lives. And so I, did, I just wanted to give you this moment to maybe add to anything else that I've said, but I just think it's so important that we take that right off the table. This is yep. about helping kids. Absolutely. I'll just say super quick. We know that the media out there takes things and twist facts into fiction. The fact is that work is around student safety. We know social media has become part of the threats that we've seen from student to student. We've talked about it as we've done the SRNR each year. And this is part of our proactive ability to begin to really uh, work and monitor um, things that we see on social media that could be seen as threats to schools, to the staff that serve them, and to students. And we'll work to get some additional communication out so there's not confusion in our community for the purposes of that. That's great. And I know that you know, our families don't realize sometimes, but we've had schools closed because of threats. And that disrupts learning for the students. It disrupts it for our working families. So all of this is within the best of intentions to uh, really help support our community. And uh, so I appreciate your team's efforts to quickly bring that that information to the table. I was really disappointed on that news report alone that did not show good journalism, and I will not even elevate their story by naming them. Thank you, Megan. Um, I had wanted to comment on that privately, but that's, I mean, I think you, you needed to, that needed to be said. Uh, 